Jupiter. Look how close the moons are. Had to share this with you guys. This looks so cool. Now we might get a chance to see Mars tonight too. How cool is that? I think that's awesome. So we're looking through an Orion XT8 Dobsonian telescope right now. Eight inch telescope, about four feet long. My name's Nate. I do live streams with the sun, moon, stars, and planets and post space and live astronomy content. Um, I'm all over the place all the time. Clouds have been all over the place. So I don't have a schedule for this. I post regularly, but I uh, haven't gotten a chance to get on the scope too much because of clouds this time of year. But it's good to see you guys. But Jupiter has a little buddy tonight. Look at that. How about that? That's looking pretty wild. They're moving so quick too. Jupiter's looking like Shrek tonight. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Pretty cool. Uh, been a lot better. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Angie. I hope things look up for you soon. Um, it's pouring rain there. Man, it, I was thought it was going to rain here, but it didn't. I'm going to zoom in a little more. Man, that looks cool. I'm digging it. What? <clears throat> uh, my inst it, it, mine is, uh, it's in my profile, Chris. All of them are there. Uh, the YTIG. Welcome in, everybody. How are you doing? We got Jupiter. We got some Jupiter going on. Pretty cool, right? Uh, let's see. There we go. Got a new goal. Wish I could see Jupiter tonight. Um, can you see another? Yeah, Mars is out. Um, it's behind a cloud right now, though. If I can see Mars, I'm going to shoot over to Mars. It's, speaking of, let me get my glasses and see if I can see it. Yeah, I think I can. It's in clouds, though. We can try. Let's try. You know? Let me double check it's Mars and I'll try. Yeah, that's Mars. Oh yeah, it's behind clouds. Those clouds might clear though. Jupiter's getting hit with some clouds now. I bet we can do it. Let's go to Ju let's go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Uh Saturn, I can't see Saturn right now. I th I don't think. It's on the other side of the house or it's already uh on the horizon. Where's Saturn? Yeah, Saturn's already below the horizon. It's already set. All right. So I zoomed out, zoomed out, zoomed out. Let's see if we can spot Mars. Yep. This is Mars. Not too much to see. Does It's like a little orange blob. All right. On our way back to Jupiter, let's swing by a bright star, Sirius. We're going to go to Sirius. All right. Here we go. Hi, Sirius. That is a star. Sirius. Anybody guess how far away Sirius is? It's pretty. Oh, I'm glad you like the content. Thank you, Delilah. Are you serious? <laughs> this is uh, Sirius, S-I-R-I-U-S. A star that is, dun, 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 how far away? Nine light years. So the light you're seeing took nine years to get to us. How old were you nine years ago? I was nine years younger. I was still in my 30s. I didn't have gray in my beard when that light left that star. Um, hello. Some stars are red or blue. Um, there's red ones, blue ones. Um, this one 
is a spectroscopic binary. Telescopes in Orion. Orion's no longer around, but comparable models and all of that stuff can be found in my profile. All your questions can be answered in my profile. I have a nice link tree with all of the information, resources you could imagine to get started in astronomy. It's all right there for you to utilize as you want. You want to get a track mount and a good telescope? Yeah, I have a tracking telescope. It's it's really nice. Um, it locks it in there. You sit back, relax. It's great for astrophotography. A lot of people ask me why I don't go live on my tracker a lot. And that is my preference because I want to share live astronomy as if you're sitting there looking through a telescope. And when you just lock the image on the center of the screen, we might as well be looking at a poster, in my opinion. This, this has more of the feel of Earth rotating. This, has, this you can see Earth rotating with the movement and all that. It's just my preference. Sometimes I do go live with the tracker mount, though. The tracker was really good with the comet. When we were tracking the comet and getting images of it, that was pretty cool. So I found, like, different live stream uses for the tracker. Yep, that's Mars. Mars is just being Mars. Hi, Mars. Little blob. So weird. I think that might be one of its moons, though. If you could see it there on the right of it. Might just be a lens reflection. View. I should be able to pan the telescope now. That, where was that? It just, I was putting probably 40, 50 pounds of pressure on the telescope just to twist it, to pan it. It's way too much pressure. It's going to break something. Stuck on something. But that's the Orion X-T8. Pretty cool telescope. I'm going to try to work on this and then see if I can go live on my IG. But in case I don't see you... Hope you have a good night, and I'm gonna try to get this working better so it's not so distracting like that, so it just works smooth. I have some lithium grease and stuff like that I'm gonna try, but thank you for checking out Jupiter with me. Jupiter. All right, see you guys. And then that's Sirius over there up to Jupiter up there, and then you come over to the left, and that's Mars right there. And then the Orion constellation is right up in here. Kind of tricky to see. There's Orion's, Orion's belt, and the nebula is right below it. Cool. All right. See ya.